Good morning, good morning everybody. Yay. I am back up on the West Branch. I'm down here at Sheehawken. And um, flow at uh, Hail Lady Bridge is somewhere around 613, 612, 613. Temperatures are great, always in the West Branch because of the bottom water releases, you know, tailwater fishery. And I was up here about two weeks ago. I caught a fair amount of fish, but they were just all average sized fish. No, no big ones. Missed a bunch of big ones. My fault. But, um, and that was basically fishing on top. So today I'm going underneath for now, just in the morning. My usual stuff up here, my glow bug. My big ginger nymph and my hot spot pheasant tail and I'm gonna play around down here in Hancock for a while then I'll head upstream upstream you get into um, uh, predictable hatches let's say up there olives and um, sulfurs in the afternoon early afternoon and um, they pretty much last all day up there until dark so I'm gonna play down here first. I actually do really, I always catch a little ones around here, but occasionally I catch a big boy here, uh, especially early in the morning. So, um, okay, so let's go. Kinda don't wanna go out too far. Um, got my Sage X. 10 foot 5 weight. Um, with my Sage uh, Spectrum LT reel. Okay. And um, I might have a little bit too much weight on. I don't know. Got a number one and a number four on. But we'll see. We'll make adjustments as we as I always say. We're just gonna start super simple, right out here in front of the boat ramp. Every cast, I'm getting hung up on bottom, so I might take off that number four. We'll see. We did have some, um, well, it's not rain, it's just misty out right now. Oh, there he goes, oh, nice fishy. Oh, nice fishy, look at that. <laughs> there you go, there you go. And did he rip off drag or what? I see. That was, oh, that wake you up. <laughs> that wake you up he jumped once he didn't he's not a huge fish but he I don't know he looked at least 14 15 that was awesome oh I got some seaweed on there Oh boy, yeah, we are in upper teens. Uh, nice, oh yeah, look at that. First fish of the day. Oh my gosh, hook jaw. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Take the seaweed out. Look at you. You are a pretty boy, pretty boy, pretty boy. I'd say you're about, I want to say 17. 17, yep, yep, yep. Okay, let me get you. Let me get you, let me get you, let me get you. Boy, you are not. Oh, I can't 
I'll turn you around. There you go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 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 Phew. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to the Delaware. <laughs> Welcome to the West Branch in the summer. Oh my gosh. I know how far I want to fish it down and then I'll come back up and start fishing up. Here he goes, here he goes, there he goes. This guy's swimming into me. Oh, not a big guy. I think he is on. Let's get him in, let's get him. He's on the pheasant tail. Little brownie, little brownie. Okay. There he goes, there he goes. Yeah. There he goes. Nicer fish. Nicer fish. Hit it on the swing. Okay. I don't know how big he is, but I know it's a nicer fish because of the head shakes. I can feel the big head shaking. See what this guy's on. We had one on the glow bug, one on the pheasant tail, uh, and I don't know what this one's on yet. Uh, he's on the big ginger nymph, so all three flies are working. Somebody's here with their boat. Yeah, um, and maybe he's on the pheasant tail. I don't know if that's seaweed. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, another decent fishy. I don't think... I guess he is on the pheasant tail. Oh, that's another big brownie. Another big brownie. Nice. Get him up here, get him up here, get him up here, get him. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, I love the West Branch. Oh, that was a good 17. This one might even go 18. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, baby. Okay, baby. On the pheasant tail. Oh, baby. You got serious teeth. Pushing that one's 18. Yeah, man. That one's oh beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let me show you these flies. There's the hot spot pheasant tail. Okay. The hot spot is um UV ice stub shrimp. Shrimp UV ice stub is the hot spot for my thorax. And I got my big ginger nymph. Okay. And then we got the glow bug. Oh, got seaweed on it. Okay, so here's the glow bug. It's got a little gold bead in it. Okay, glow bug egg pattern. Okay guys, this is where we started our day. Right here at the boat ramp. We went down, now I'm gonna go up. Okay. So, no rainbows yet, but maybe the rainbows like this faster, more ripply, riffly water. Which they do, but doesn't mean I'm gonna start catching rainbows. Doesn't mean that. So oh, let's go. Okay, I took a split shot off. A little shallower up here. There he goes. There's a fishy. There's a fishy. Okay. Doesn't feel like a big one, but we'll see. Oh, we got off. Ah, oh, our second get off. <gasps> <laughs> Our second get off. Ah. Try it again. Put it along those bushes. Boom, right there. There he goes. Feels about the same size, the little guy. This guy's on the big ginger nerve. It's okay. Little eight, nine incher. Brownie again. Okay. Okay, well hit along those bushes again. Maybe there's a big boy sitting in there. Boom. There's, no, it's a bunch of little boys. <laughs> He's on the pheasant tail. Oh, well. This looks like, oh, what? This is a, oh, another brownie. Okay, come here, come here, come here. It's a little guy, six inches. Huh. Okay. Well, 
could there be one more? I would think if there's a bunch of little ones in there, there won't be any big ones, but who knows. Okay guys, you can see the shallow, shallow ripple, riffles up there. And then it softens out and gets deeper here. So we're going to try to get over here and work that diagonal up to the point of that island. That's, that's not really it. I don't know if it's an island. Maybe it is. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do. Hmm. same fish <laughs> that was a teeny little fish that jumped and this fish hit and came right into my legs I thought it was uh oh my gosh ha 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 this guy's not that bad I think he's like looks like he's like 12 13 But, man, hey. <laughs> that was a new one. Fish hit and swam right into my feet. <sighs> okay, so we landed five out of seven so far this morning. I think we've been here about two hours. Um, so let's see what this boy is. That was a rainbow. Oh, he he might have went 13, 14. Oh, crap. He took everything. He was on the glow bug. What the heck? I don't know what that was about. Ah, so I got to build my whole leader back up again. But that wasn't, that wasn't bad. I know you guys didn't really see him that much. He jumped the one time. I don't know if he got tangled up with the... This little fishy up here that jumped looked like he was about six inches. And by that time, when he jumped, that fish was already down here. <laughs> I think that little fishy might have just got tangled up in the line. But um, maybe that's what might have abraded or something, this, this line here. I don't know. I'm just guessing. So it feels okay. Well, let's build our tandem rig back. Okay, guys, I built a whole new tandem rig again. Blow bug up top, but now I got the pheasant tail as my second fly, and my bottom fly is my wiggle ginger nymph. So whenever I use my ginger nymph, I'll put it as my last fly so it has the f more freedom to wiggle. Okay, so let's just see what happens. There he 
he goes. Uh, there he goes, there he goes. Up in that skinny riff up there. Come on, fishy. Let's keep you on. Ooh, ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are definitely in the upper teens. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Putting on a show, putting on a show. Big brownie. Oh my gosh, I think we might have get, we're pretty close to 20 inches on this boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Number five. He is trying to shake that hook. Get him back over to this side. I don't know, I think he's on the pheasant tail. Oh my gosh. you back in here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir, he is on the pheasant tail. You guys see him. Oh, let's get him up here. Bring him up here, bring him up here. Oh, yes! I oh. think we might even have over 20. He might go 20, 21. Another hook jaw. Butter belly, pretty, pretty brownie. Pretty, pretty brownie. Oh my gosh. He's a man, he's off. No, he's not off. Okay, let's see if we can get fell out of my mouth. Look at that boy. Easy 20, probably an easy 21. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Great morning. Okay, now we can say we landed six out of nine. Okay. So he was way up in there. Okay. Okay, we're doing pretty good hunting today. Hunting for trout, hunting for trout. Taking our time. <sighs> Be right back. I don't know if this is gonna come out, but you can see all the trichos. Like I said, usually from around the Delaware River Club all the way down, you have trichos in the mornings. Now you won't see fish rising for these until you get to slow water because they just come up and just make a teeny little dimple for them. Um, but we got a lot of trichos. Um, pretty big cloud up there. It's pretty high right now. So it's not 
I don't think they're ready to fall yet, but very soon. So I'm gonna go down stream, take my jacket off, leave it at my truck, and um, maybe we'll get into some dry, some trico fishing. Maybe we'll just keep nymphing. We'll see, okay? chest uh oh there he goes there he goes oh big fishy again on the swing on the swing oh wow yeah my big fishy big fishy Wiggle nymph. I think he's on the wiggle nymph. Man, he is going nuts. So. He is on the pheasant tail. That teeny little si that's a size 20 pheasant tail. I mean a size 20. But man, that's the kind of bugs they go for here. They don't go for big ones. Oh, that's not he's not even that big. He's just the Delaware Rainbows. That's what he is, a Delaware Rainbow. Nice. <laughs> we got 14. That, like, the, like the one we lost. <sighs> come on, come on. Feels beautiful. Okay, I'll show you that pheasant tail again. And that is just a little hot spot. It's got oh, it took one of my legs. It's got brown, micro brown with the flakes, lively legs. Just pheasant tail with a hot spot. Pheasant tail nymph. With the with the lively legs. No no bead. No extra weight. You can't put any extra weight on that small little hook. Well you could, but Okay, let's go. Okay guys, I took off my uh one number one split shot and I put an A B split shot on. Hey suckers. This is about one and a half or, or two of the number one. I, it's deep out here where I'm fishing. And I just want to make sure I'm deep enough. Um, so, actually, yeah. So, I mean, I'm maybe risking getting snagged on the bottom, but it's okay. Got to be down where the fishies are. 
Gotta be where they're at. We'll see. This is where that mink was. Swimming. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's a fishy. That's a heavy fishy. That's a heavy fishy. That's a heavy fishy. He is just. I mean, I can't. He is on bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a heavy fishy. Oh, I better get him on the reel. Seaweed off of there. Oh, but well, that boy, he just. Okay. Well, I see my glow bug. Oh, I think it's. Oh, oh, I think he's foul hooked. I think it's a sucker or a fallfish, actually. Huh? He's got eyes. Oh, he's, he's on the. The wiggle nymph. He was just so deep on the bottom. Man, that's a. I don't know. He's coming in like he's. Like he's foul hooked. Oh. Yeah. It uh, looks like it's a fawfish. Oh, I hear something over there. Maybe it's that. Yeah, he's foul hooked. It's, it's not a sucker. It's not a sucker. It's a fallfish, but it's a big fallfish. Eh. Okay, okay, okay. He was just staying on bottom. Eh. It's about 15, 16 inches. It's okay. It's fun. Better than nothing. He's off already. There you go. See you. Oh, geez. It just released him and he got hooked again. There he goes. Okay, I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, guys, there's. I saw three fish rising up here. Right out in front of me, about, I'm not, I'm going to get closer, but they're about 20, 25 yards in front of me. I'm going to get a little closer, but, uh, I think, I don't know if they're rising for trachos. Because I did see one rise, and as soon as he rose, a caddis came up off the water. But I don't see caddis, so it could be a mix of both. There could be trachos. And just some cat is starting to rise right now. So I might have to just, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Be right back. Got to switch over. Okay, guys. So there is fish rising out here. Um, I don't know what for. I have been nymphing all morning with this leader set up. All I did was took my tandem rig off. I added three feet of 6X, and boom, I'm heading right back out there now. I put a, I put a uh, tan caddis on, size 20, and because uh, I did see a couple caddis. I did see a couple caddis. Oh, there he is. And some of these don't look like big fish, but I don't care. There he goes. Got him. Oh, he got off. Da. <laughs> there he goes. Oh my God. Well, okay. At least I know he hit the caddis. Dang. Oh, I see one a little bit further. Boom. Coming down. 
pretty soon, pretty soon. Oh, is he a rose? Here he goes. Oh, he stung him too. Oh my gosh. That was a that was a nicer fish. That was saw his head come up before he ate mine. Ah, two fish. It makes me think that they're not they're hitting it just but it's not really what they want. Okay guys, I am back to nymphing. There's rifts about 200 yards downstream, but I'm gonna nymph this flat water too, cause, cause I like nymphing it. <laughs> I like nymphing this kind of water. Doesn't always have to have rifts. There you go. Doesn't always have to have rifts. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not a big one. Uh, I think he's on the pheasant. No, he's on the glow bug. Huh. Oh, there's a big fish right underneath of him. Oh my god, that's a big fish. Oh. Oh, oh, I think I got the big fish too. I think I got double. I think I got, I'm not too sure. Do I know? Oh, I could have swore that was a big fish coming after the other flies. Oh my God, that was a big fish. It was like 20 some inches. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice rainbow. 11, 12 inches. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Nice. Good 12 inches. Oh, man, that was a big fish. Okay, guys. <laughs> There's some tubers coming down. There's some tubers that just went with a bunch of canoe people. So... I'm getting ready to move on to another spot, but I'm just gonna fish one more time here at the ramp area. Eh, that's all. Just see, just see, just see, just see. Um, got the glow bug on, the pheasant tail, and a caddis larva. Okay, everybody says caddis pupa, but this isn't a pupa, this is just a larva. Little green worm like. Uh, uh, worm like insect. Sorry. Okay. There he goes. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look at him. Oh, we got off. Ah, that looked like a nice, about a 13 inch rainbow. Oh. Oh. I don't know what it was on. Ah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, okay, we had some action here. We had some action. Ah, let me check those split shots. I think they might have just slid all the way down. They did. Are good. 
sometimes, or most times, I don't care that the fish get off. Play them for a little, but I would love to know what they were on. But I couldn't see with that one. There he goes, another one. Oh, he got off. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, we're getting action. Jeez, oh man. I looked around the same exact size. It looked like it was around, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 inches. Um, actually, my first two flies, I have a barb. If this one doesn't, so, eh, whatever. Pretty cool. Hey, we're getting action. Okay, guys, 12 noon. I am here at the Hancock Bridge, as you can see. Two guys spin fishing over there. Um, oh. Give it a shot here. We're not trying to hit any secret spots today. There's nothing secret about the Delaware. So, um, we're just fishing all the obvious good looking places. And seeing how that works out for us. Hey guys, I got the glow bug on and two pheasant tails. One's a gold beaded pheasant tail, size 18, and the other one, the other one is an unweighted pheasant tail, size 20. I do see swallows flying around. I don't know what they're feeding on. and shiny like a rainbow It's on the unweighted pheasant tail, the one we caught fish on earlier today. Come on. 
Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, there he goes. <sighs> nice, 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 nice. The tug is the drug. big guys but oh well they're still fun he is on the pheasant tail with the bead head gold bead headed pheasant tail oh, 10 incher not bad okay. hey, he was caught a couple times this guy he didn't learn his lesson It's a little short. Oh, jeez. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There he goes, there he goes. Okay. This one feels a little nicer. Fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on. Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Rebob. Come on. Get you up, get you up, get you up, up, up. Fishy, put your head up. Where's your head? Ooh, nice fish. Ooh, probably a good 14, 15. There you go. There you go. Oh, golly. Easy 15. Easy 15. He's a chunky monkey. Okay, hold on, buddy. Oh, 
be a little drink. He is on the bead, uh, the bead head pheasant tail. Okay. See ya. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, Jen, let's get a drink. Fifteen might push sixteen. Okay. Yeah, baby. Nice, nice, nice. So, we got a couple nice boys today, and a bunch of small boys. We gotta take the good with the bad. None of them are bad. <laughs> None of them are bad. Just some are bigger than the other. <laughs> awesome. Look at that 10 yards and fish out that way. Here's a deer over here. These people. See the deer? What is it? A deer. Do you see it right there? Right in the bush. Now she's looking at us. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. I wonder how close she'll let me get to it. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. rig here so it doesn't get snagged on the bottom. Surprise, there's not a little one with her, a little fawn. Probably is. Probably bedded down. I know you see me right there. Oh, stay there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Not this season. A couple months, you're fair game. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, well, like I said, you got to take the little ones with the big ones. Nice. Little wild brown, eh? Beautiful little par marks. Okay, I hope I made you a little smarter. Come on, get up there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here, come here, come here. I'm just dragging him up. Good 10 incher. Brownie, brownie, brownie. Okay, 
right, guys. Gotta work that edge up there. There he goes. <sighs> Another one of these little guys that keep getting off. He's on a pheasant tail, but that's okay. Yay, oh, there he goes. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Nine, 10 incher. Okay. Man, they are whacking the heck out of these pheasant tails. There he goes. There we go. This one's a little bigger. This one's an inch or two bigger. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yay. This one might be 11, 12. Oh, where are you? Are you foul hooked? You're foul hooked. See you later. Let, let, let you go, let you go. Oh, damn it. Ah. Ah, yay, 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 yay. Whatever. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. 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 Oh, jeez. <laughs> I just want to cry. He was only about 12, 13 inches. But he got off like they all are getting off. Okay. My fingers have brown permanent marker on them because I colored this guy's legs brown. <laughs> My fingernails. Ah! I know we are somewhere over, I mean, we're probably like 25 fish, but only landed maybe about, I don't know, 13, 14. So I'm about back down to probably around 50%, but oh well, we're getting action. We're getting into some fights. Well, we, like I said, we only had, that I know of, that I saw, one decent size. Rainbow, about 14, 13, 14 inches get off. So, nothing huge that I know of. There you go. There you go. Oh, 
Come on. Stay on. <laughs> oh, it's a little guy. Ah, the little guy. Okay, come on. Get you up. Eh, get ten inches. Okay. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. There he goes. Okay. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I moved on up here in deposit. There's sulfurs. Not a great hatch coming off, but they're coming off. There are fish rising here and there. I see caddis, sulfurs, isos, but more sulfurs than anything. Um, so now I need a target. They were rising out here. <laughs> Had an ant on me. Maybe I'll try an ant later too. There's the, they're about a size 18, 20 bright almost like a fluorescent yellow um. <sighs> I was so hot with my waders up I put my waders down then I come to a spot like this and <laughs> I need I gotta go up a little higher Because there's fish on that far side. And I usually fish from that side, but I decided to come over to this side today. And there's fish rise on that side. Isn't that how it goes all the time? <laughs> so we'll see. Okay. Where do we get a target? We'll be right back. Okay, guys. Coming up higher, closer to the rift. There's always a ton of fish rising here. But the majority, and one just rose out of here, the majority of them are 10, 11 inches. Um, some even smaller. But there are some nice sized fishies in here too, mixed in. So you can't always say. I got a 20 done, sulfur done. The last one I had on was a cripple. Maybe they didn't like the cripple. They liked it, but they didn't like it. For him. Oh. Come on. There he goes. Got him. He liked it. Okay, okay, okay. This is made with a fluorescent yellow dyed peacock curl. Uh, at least 11. Might go 12, I think. Slimed. Nice. Eh. Ten. Eh. Eleven. About eleven. Nice little brownie. Okay. Size twenty, half and half. <clears throat> Clink hammer merger. Let's see. There he goes. 
Okay, he liked that one. That little guy. Inker Dinker. Oh, he's off. Is he off? No, <laughs> he's so little. Oh my god, I think the seaweed weighs more than you. Rainbow, little rainbow. There he goes. Hey, later, alligator. Oh, let's see, read him over there. Be right back. So, first cast in with this half and half. See if this guy, there's at least three of them over there. Oh, oh, he got it. <laughs> he, he came up real slow and looked at it. He turned away and then he came back. He said, ah, oh, yeah, I think that's food. <laughs> I think this one's got 11. <laughs> Love when you can see him come up from the bottom. Yeah, pretty cool. I like that. Nice. Nice. Good 11. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pretty brownie. Okay, guys. I am trying my buddy's sulfur emerger, Barry. We're going to try it. It's a little on the big side, but heck, you never know. Throw something big out there to come up and smack. Oh my god, he came up and oh my how the heck did I miss him? I think I was just shocked. <laughs> he came up and he ate the How the heck did I miss him? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh you gotta be kidding me okay guys got one with the sulfur <laughs> he's not a big guy but we got him We got him. I'm sorry I couldn't get it on film. These guys, they're, they're not um, rising in the same spot. They're roaming all over. So I just wasting a bunch of battery and card space. Oh, there you go. Nice. A 12, 13 inch. There you go. Beauty, 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 beauty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Man, it took me forever to get another one here. Man, I have no idea what they're feeding on. I mean, one took the sulfur, but I don't know that he really wanted it. If 
about the same as the last one. Good fight. This one's a little bigger. Almost 14. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, on the sofa. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to give a little summary because I wasn't able really to do a summary of my day uh, when I was on the water. But um, I basically got there around uh, a little bit after 6 in the morning. I didn't start fishing until 6.30 and we pretty much fished up until around 8.30 at night. Um, <clears throat> so it was a long day, 14 hours, okay? Didn't get home. By the time I got undressed and got something to eat, I didn't get home until almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So, but that's just what I got to do when I go up just for a day up on the Delaware. So, um... I mean, if I'm traveling six hours on the road, I make sure that I'm fishing for <laughs> a lot longer than six hours so uh, to make it worth it. So, um, I, I, in my last video, I did a little teeny little bit of nymphing, but um, I really didn't do any serious nymphing. This, to, this video, I, sh I was doing serious nymphing, okay? And, but I had a lot of fun and um down in hancock area i really did and i probably would have had fun nymphing anywhere if i would have stayed nymphing all day but i kind of wanted to go over to dries and test my luck i always love you know fishing dries in the summertime and <clears throat> it was tough it was tough i saw a lot of fish uh rising i saw a lot of big fish but they were just super super picky and the last spot I went to, I spent four or five hours at it, and I only caught four fish. And um, tons of refusals, um, changed tons of patterns, but they just weren't hitting that great up on top. Um, as you get closer to deposit, almost, um, I don't want to say everything, but pretty much anything above Hale Eddy Bridge, there's so much slime in the water column, it's tough to even nymph up there. So... Even when I was dry fly fishing, I had a, a fair amount of slime on my fly on, on the top. And I had to clean off my fly, I don't want to say frequently, but often. And um, so the nymphing in the morning down in Hancock, that was a lot of fun. I, I you know, hooking into those big boys and, you know, screaming drag off. And uh, I didn't show a lot more smaller fish. I think I showed in this video video somewhere around like 20 fish that I landed, but I, I probably landed about, I don't know, six, seven, eight more smaller fish, like six to 10 inches, but I, I didn't want to show them. And a lot of the little ones, like from six to 10 inches, I had a lot of get offs. I think I landed, I don't know, probably more than 25 fish out of about 50. But it sounds like a lot, and it is a lot of fish, but I, a lot of the little ones, I was just stripping in real fast just to get them off, and they would just pop off, which I didn't really care about. But I didn't really lose that many nice fish today. So it was, I don't know, maybe three or four nicer fish in, in, in the teens that got off, but so not much, and I, I don't really 
care about the little guys as much so i not that i don't count them or anything but uh it's better than nothing it keeps you busy keeps you sharp <laughs> so um yeah the staple up there on the delaware my my staple um uh rig that i use glow bug big ginger or the big brown nymph like a stonefly nymph and or a golden stonefly nymph and then pheasant tail pheasant tail pheasant tail pheasant tail i think every guide up on the delaware uses pheasant tails when they have you know people just nymphing up there because it's just such a super common uh and 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 productive bug up there on the delaware and um mostly 16s 18s and 20s but i use mostly 18s and 20s and um so i hope you enjoyed it and i'm going back up again sh soon uh for four or five days and i'll have a video coming out from that adventure too so uh, that might just be a collection of clips so so like i said if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned because probably in a couple weeks I, there, there, there may be another week where a week or more that there won't be a video but then i'll probably have the um the uh, delaware video and then in september i'm going out to montana for 10 days so be be ready and be tuned in for that too and then after that i'll be getting ready for my uh archery deer season so there'll be a break again every year i always have a break around september and october for and november because of my hunting season so uh that's just you know that's why it's pa woods and water <laughs> so thank you guys very much uh talk to you later bye